Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone and slow age expert. So did you know we have something called the bone bank? <laughs> well, it's just me coming with a bit of a description here, but you could think of your bone or your skeleton as a bank account where you deposit and withdraw bone tissue or bone cells. Mm -hmm. So during childhood and your teenage uh, years, the bone addition to your uh, bone bank account is faster than the bone which is removed. So you've got a lot in the bank, basically. And this is a good thing. Remember, you want to have a lot of bone in your bone bank um, until you get to about the age of 25, because then things change. Yeah. Hormones will change. That's basically what's go going to happen, yeah, already at the age of 25. So your bone back is large, it's heavier, it's denser until you reach about the age of 20, uh, 25, somewhere around there, yeah? So bone formation continues at a faster pace than the removal, removal of bones until you get to this, this peak bone um, mass time, yeah? And from then on, um, bone loss speeds up if you like but, but it doesn't speed up really it's just that that our bone ability formation slows down very much and lifestyle factors so things like not getting enough calcium in your diet not getting enough vitamin d maybe sunshine or getting it as a supplement and combining that with vitamin k2 we know this is so important we now also know that magnesium is also on that list so if you're getting magnesium and vitamin K2, your vitamin D is going to work better. And it's the vitamin D in its hormonal form, which actually gets the calcium into the bone. So there's the cocktail there. If you're going to take calcium as a supplement, you want to make sure you're taking it with magnesium, with vitamin K2 and with vitamin D3. Mm. Yeah. So those things are, are very, very important. But you might have a lifestyle where you smoke and smoking really impairs bone health, probably because of the blood supply. And then excessive alcohol, excessive caffeine also can be negative. So there's some lifestyle choices here. And then we could put stress on the list there because if there is a lot of stress and doesn't matter if it's physical, mental or emotional, there will be an extra production of cortisol and cortisol is a major breakdown hormone and it loves breaking down collagen. And we can see that in our skin when we're very stressed, can't we? We can see, oh my goodness, I, I just look so tired and my skin's not looking good anymore, etc., etc. But it's also going on the inside in your bones because your bones are made of collagen. Hmm. Anyway, the bone bank. Hope you found that interesting. Happy hormones, happy life.